I forget exactly what the title is. I think it's just Alien. I forget their names, okay? I'm sorry. I think it's uh, one of the Predators are inserting eggs into one of the women through the throat. Is that essentially just coom swallowing? Hey you. I'm toasted. Uh, ideas. And today, I wanted to react to another video by Ruined Leon. And the title is Trans Hypocrisy. Respecting pronouns, but not real women. And what I suspect from this is going off of the thumbnail is something about trans people not respecting women by women asking to not be called cis. Or something of that flavor of genre. But we shall see. I want y'all to watch something. Oh boy. White cis women, we need to talk. Take a deep breath and let's. Let's talk. Some of you just now reacted to me saying cis. That defensiveness comes from white supremacy culture. That shit has a acronym now? There's an acronym to that. White supremacism culture is an acronym? Lord help us all. It's okay to be all up in your feelings like that. But it's not okay to use your feelings as an excuse to harm others. Not okay to use your feelings as an excuse to harm others. Huh. I wonder... I... What would happen if I was back in school and I just all of a sudden said, I feel like a girl today? What, what would what would happen there? Just just you know just 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 a question just a question. It's nothing controversial. I'm just asking. What would happen if I said I feel like a girl today? I wouldn't be harmed at all for that in any way or shape or form, supposedly or something of that sort. Anywho, we need to pause allow ourselves to feel our feelings and process through why those were the feelings that we had. Then you can address the underlying thought that caused that feeling. Only when we have thoroughly processed our feelings and the underlying thoughts will we be in a position to respond appropriately with kindness and thoughtfulness. Now, I could go the route of spending eight to 10 minutes picking apart how this is dumb. Like for example, the notion that it's only white women getting upset at being called cis, or the idea that because their feelings are hurt, that's no reason for them to be causing harm. When you have trans individuals who openly harass people who misgender them, even though they don't know who they are, or- You know, I, I honestly think that is the, the craziest thing. It's like, you see these like videos of public freakouts and it's like of, people complaining to a random worker at a McDonald's or someone, or someone, somewhere, and they're complaining about them saying ma'am or sir, and it's like, just move on with your freaking day. Like, nobody actually gives a damn. Do you think they care about who you pronoun as? They're just there to make a paycheck and get you your fat-absorbing food. Like... I, I, I could never see myself, like, I mean, never see myself ever complaining like that to a lowly minimum wage worker. Like, they don't give a damn. They don't. I've been there. I know they don't. Like, <laughs> so crazy to me will openly blatantly say they want to punch somebody in the face if they're misgendered even though they don't know who they are but the reason i'm not going to do that is because i've already done it what i'm instead going to do is ask a question and then show you two videos the question is simple how are you somebody who wants respect you want people to call you by the correct pronouns he him she her they them zizar zigzar zig 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 yes that's a real thing Oh, thank you so much for asking about my pronouns. Everyone misgenders me on my comments, and it means so much that you asked, and you're trying to be respectful, so I love Hi. 
Could you explain your pronouns? I've never heard of them before. I really don't want to be rude. I was just wondering. I, I have a question. Do you think everyone part of the LGBTQIA++ whatever it is, do you think they actually remember every single pronoun? I I'm just asking. That that is genuine curiosity because I I'm like half the time I forget my friend's name and I only have like five friends. Sorry, I don't forget their name. I mix up their names. How do you, how, like what, there isn't there like 98 gen, gender expre uh, expressions nowadays? Like how, like how do you remember all of that? And then how do you go into someone's comments and then put this on here? Like do you think this person actually remembers what this person says about what their gender expression is? Because I can tell you, I don't. I, and I'm going to forget right after she says it. I can almost guarantee you because, one, I, I just really don't care. Sorry. And two, uh, hey, I want to be point, pointedly honest here. You probably don't care that I care. Or, sorry, you probably don't care that I don't care because, like, you don't know me from Adam or Eve. So, like, let put the bullshit away, okay? I don't care. You don't care about me not caring. So, let's move the fuck on. But... I, how do, how do you, how do you, how do you remember all of those pronouns? How, how do you remember them? I eat, like, I, I at least know what I eat every single day because I eat chicken every single day. I, but I can't imagine trying to remember 98 different things that all have a different meaning, a different saying, a different spelling. Like, how, how I, I'm just lost. I'm just lost you for that. So I use the pronoun Zezer. Um, I chose these pronouns because in my head they them as a non-binary person means like like no gender but Zezer for me feels like it's um, like sliding like Z and Zer very similar to he and him and she and her and I just wait is that genuinely why they're called Zezer because they're close to he and her is that, is that real? I wouldn't know. I'm uneducated in this. I'll be completely honest. I'm completely uneducated in the world of pronouns. And no, don't try to educate me because I probably will not care. But is that really it? That they're just like close words of he and her? But at that rate, why did it, why, why Z? Why the letter Z? Why? You just you just went to the last letter in the alphabet, and you're like that letter right there. Like why? I don't get it. Anywho, just preferred that. Um, so obviously, Z can be used um, in replace of she, him, and they, and then Zer is used in replace of um, the other ones. So I've been getting this question more and more about my pronouns. Basically, you just use them as they, but instead of the th, it's a v. So they, them, their. They, them, their. Them self, or if that's, I. It. So we just choosing any letter to take over the first things. They still. Like, them is that like her is them like a, a, a close word to him and they is like she just with v a and then there is there and then themself is themselves or himself am i getting this right look I'm gonna be honest, it kind of just sounds like I'm revving up a car here, like vroom, 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 kind of shit, but like... I, as I said, I'm completely uneducated in the world of pronouns. Like, is that literally it? They're just close words to the origin? Like him, her, she, that kind of stuff? Is that is that essentially what they are? Uh, anywho. 
but you won't give that same respect and courtesy to people who don't want to be called cis women. You don't give that same respect to people who don't want to be referred to as birthing persons. You don't give that same respect to women who just want to be called women. And I know you think, well, yes, that's because they're the outside, right? Because they're not, they're not, they're not in the club. Am I getting this right? That that's because they're on the outside. They're the outside people. Do I kind of got this right? I think I do. I think I do. It is not earned. If you're not going to give that respect to other people, even your own allies who say things a little bit different from you, then you're not really going to get that respect you clamor for from people who don't even know you. Introduce yourself, say your pronouns. To expect people to just know you and know everything about you is a foolish thing. But I mean, that makes sense, right? Because they're assuming, which I mean, it's the, the tale as old as time. When you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. And when you assume everyone in the room knows what your pronouns are without saying what your pronouns are, then you really have no leg to stand on and get angry at like service workers or just random ass people walking about. To demand respect is a stupid thing. To not give that same respect to people you demand it from is a stupid thing. And until people realize that, they're always going to walk a circle of always looking like an idiot, always looking like they're crying, always looking like they're hypocrites. Because instead of just looking at the world through a lens of giving people respect when they deserve it, instead of respecting the fact that calling a woman a birthing person is probably one of the most disrespectful things I've ever heard. Sorry, birthing people? No, that's a mother, a woman. How long did we fight for women's rights just for us to be referred to as birthing people? I am not a birther or a birthing person. I'm a woman. Women give birth. Women are mothers. Literally everything that was fought for for women's rights is going straight down the drain. I think unironically that that is the first time someone with a septum piercing has ever said that kind of a phrase. Just kidding. Anywho, I think the crazy thing is how we went from calling, you know, mothers mothers to now acting as if they're like from the movie Predator or something. Chest feeders. Like, <laughs> It sounds like we're 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 going back to a, a xenomorph shit over here. Like, what it what is this? No, they're they're just they're just regular women giving birth. They're they're not they're not chest birthers or something like that. They're they're just women doing what women have always done, or biologically have always done. So I don't know why we're giving such like terrible words to follow after the term mother. I don't know why why we went straight to the bottom of the barrel of aliens to describe giving birth. Like, how did that happen? I just left a birth where the woman was in labor for four days. She was pushing for over an hour. She nearly lost her mind and was emotionally broken down by the end of this, but she delivered her baby. It was placed on her chest. There were tears in both her and her husband's eyes and the husband leans in close and he whispers, what a woman. It was a beautiful moment. And you know what would have ruined it? What a birthing person. No, we're not about to diminish the battle that women have had to fight to be recognized as badasses and what our bodies are biologically created to do. But I do mean xenomorphs are pretty cool. Like, they shoot acid, they do a lot of killing, they're, they're kind of cool, so I, I don't know, I, 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 some women might dig it, some women might dig it, I don't know, I don't know, man, I, I don't know, I could never figure this one out. Bill Nye, where is he? We need him. Don't even get me started on chest feeding. I'm not a birth person, I'm a mother. I'm not chest feeding, I am breastfeeding. Having children is not gender fluid. It is only done by biological females. I am so sick of a female struggle being undermined because everybody else doesn't want to be offended by reality. 
It is so difficult to carry a child for nine months. It is so difficult to have your world completely turned upside down when a baby passes through your body. It is so hard to deal with the trials and struggles of breastfeeding. You guys do not get to do this. Y'all can call it whatever you want to call it, but I'm tired of being fed this garbage and being told that I have to swallow this garbage. Mothers are warriors. We're not a fetish. We're not a feeling. We're not an option. If you want to be offended by this statement, then be offended because reality doesn't cater to feeling, it caters to fact. Especially when it's a black woman, the most disrespected group in American history. Congratulations, you're never going to get the respect you hope for. Subscribe to the channel. Ah, oh, crap. I think I unironically just screwed up my brain for the rest of this recording because I, I talked about the alien movies for so long that I started thinking about the alien movies while they were talking and I just came to a conclusion so you know how in the one movie A uh, I forget exactly what the title is I think it's just alien I forget their names okay I'm sorry I think it's uh one of the predators are inserting eggs into one of the women through the throat is that essentially just coom swallowing? I think it might be. Am, am I wrong about that? It, isn't that essentially just coom swallowing? Just really metal as fuck. <laughs> Anywho, um... <laughs> it, Tell me what, what your thoughts are in the comments. Uh, did you agree or disagree with my commentary on this? Uh, and while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, become a fellow bread bag, and also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video. And then perhaps they can join the bread box. Because once again, we need more bread. But... I hope to see you in the next video, and until then, have a good one.